Hey everyone, Rich here. I'm going to do a review of my previous review. Hey everyone, Rich here. Uh, I'm going to do a review of my previous review. Hey everyone, Rich here. Um, I'm just going to do a review of my previous review. Hey everyone, Rich here. Um, I just had a few issues with the unboxing I shot recently, so just gonna just gonna review it. Hey there, YouTube. Rich Massey here. Um, just gonna do an unboxing for you. Got a I got a uh, got a package in the mail. I wanted to um, want to unbox it. It's a uh, I'm assuming it's my ordered a couple of couple of VGA cables to go into my monitor, a couple of backups for this here. Um, and uh, let's go in and have a look. Indeed, indeed. Two. Two VGA cables. So these are uh, these will go into plug in the back of your monitor. I go. I have a Mac Pro tower. I go into the back of Mac Pro and into the into the monitor. Um, I just wanted a few few backups. You can use uh, you can use these if you're gonna use a PC or a Mac. Um, BGA is a 15 pin uh, 15 pin um, plug, and uh, these these will go right in. And of course, if you don't have a VGA, you can always get an adapter. I can do a video about that later too. Um, these look to be pretty good. Um, they're wrapped in a nice uh, they're wrapped in a nice uh, plastic. They have a nice look. Um, the uh, the the plug is blue, and this is nice, and it feels nice too. Um, if you you know rubbing it, and then the cord is kind of like a slick black here, um, and that's that has its own um, has its own sort of appeal to kind of feel it smooth, um, and it looks robust to me. So anyway, these things look great. Um, thank thanks for watching the unboxing. All right, so um, the the main issue I had there was that I <clears throat> I spoke mostly about how the cord felt in my hands and less um, about its functionality. It is plugged into the monitor right now, so they they, they are working. Um, but I felt upon reviewing the, it that I should have spoken more about the the technical side of the cord and less about it um, how it felt. Um, that, so that was my main issue with it. Thank you. So um, my main issue with this review is that it was just a touch self-critical. Um, I'm trying to be more positive in my in my work and am um, more feeling good. Um, and I thought that this was unnecessarily critical of my unboxing and and that uh, it. it it took it took it in a direction that I didn't appreciate personally. Thank you. Well, my issue with this past one was that um, I felt that I handled myself with kid gloves a little bit. Um, part of being creative is being able to take criticism, um, and I, I felt that I should have just taken the criticism. It's part of growing as a as a person. It's a healthy part of being creative, um, and, and I'm able to take it. If you want to leave comments, that, that will help too. Thank you. Well, um, the problem with this one was that I overshared a bit, um, and I'm not comfortable with that. I, I, I showed um, multiple shades of my personality, which I thought was unnecessary. Um, what I should have done was focused um, on the technical side of the video that I was reviewing as opposed to diving down a dark personal hole. Live and learn.